So I've said for a while that I use my iPad as my main development environment. And I, what I do is I SSH or actually mosh into a server with Blink Shell. And then I just do all my coding right from this iPad. Now that has not strictly been true in a few circumstances. There's a few things I haven't had not been able to find a really good solution to. One of them was um, using FTP or SFTP or whatever, rsync, anything like that to take all of this files from my client sites and get set up on development because most of my clients do not have, at least at the beginning, version control of any fashion. And I need to get them into version control, get them on my staging server so I can start working with them. Uh, the other thing is that occasionally, a little more than occasionally because it's getting pretty frustrating, Mosh would disconnect with Blink Shell and I just have nothing. I'd come back, like I just you know, swip, flip to Firefox, look up some documentation and flip back and then there was nothing there for me. I didn't have the code I was working on. I had to reconnect every session that I had open. That was annoying. So in steps Mosh, uh, not in steps Mosh, in steps Tmux. Tmux is a terminal multiplexer. Totally heard about that before. And every time someone said it, I went, oh, I have no idea what that means and just kept going because I had other development problems to solve. So what it means though, is I'm gonna show you. Um, right now I have Blink Shell open here and I am going to mosh into my DigitalOcean server. And then there's really only a few commands that you need in Tmux. The two right now to get Tmux started, if I go Tmux LS, it's going to list my Tmux sessions. You can see I've got a few open here. Uh, and then I want to connect to one. So let's connect to Wecker, which is a plugin that I sell for restricting content. It's a membership plugin for WooCommerce. You know, Tmux A-T Wecker. And now I'm connected in here. Now, once you're in Tmux, let me clear that out. You can see, you can see like I had just done a git status beforehand. So I can clear that out. And now once you're in here, every command is um, prefaced by control B. So I'm gonna hit control B, control B, N. And now I'm in the Vim setup that I had, right? With complete with my tabs and everything. And if I want to go back to the other one, I hit control B, N to flip to the next window. That's it. Now, if I wanted to rename a window, there's another key command. I go control B comma, and now I can rename this. It's git, so I'm gonna keep it as git. You can see in the bottom corner here. I'm just gonna git and then enter, done. So when I open, if I was going to open a, a new window, that'd be control B C, and then I have a new window open. You can see it's named bash, control B comma, and I'll name it something. So now I have that open as well. Now, if I want to detach from my session, that means disconnect so that I'm not hooked up to it anymore. I control B D and now I'm back out of that session and I can go Tmux LS again to switch into a new session. Now, what this lets me do overall is I can SSH or mosh into here. I can look at um, the sessions I have. I can then start SFTP so I can like grab all the files from my client server, suck them directly over to my development server and walk away while it's happening. Tmux will just let it keep running in the background and I'm just good to go. Don't need to worry about it. Um, which is perfect. Like that's all I really need. That's excellent. And I've also found, so as I'm doing my development, let's connect again. Tmux A-T Wecker. And so I've got this, I found this to be much more robust too. So when I come back to Blink later, because I didn't have before, I would have done like, I guess, Command N. This is gonna open up Sorry, command T opens up. You can say I have two blink shell windows open, um, command T. But when I had, I'd have multiple blink shell windows open, I'd be switching back and forth between them. Yeah, just to get everything working to like have Git on one side and Vim on the other. And that just wasn't spectacular. That that wasn't as robust, it kept failing on me. So going over to Tmux now, control B, D again to disconnect. Going over to Tmux now with the terminal multiplexer, I haven't had a failure in like three weeks, four weeks now, it just keeps going and I can come back and I'm connected again, which is excellent. So Tmux, if you are a BIM user, if you're big into terminal, Tmux is really good. Now, if you're old school, maybe screen, a friend of mine is old school and he says screen, that's what he uses. And that, but when I asked him, what should I use? He said, just use Tmux, just, just use it. On some Linux servers, you are gonna have to um, install Tmux. I did not in DigitalOcean, although he expected me to, but I just typed Tmux and it was there. Perfect, that's it. Anyway, I'd love to know what you're doing for your development flow, how, and what, what do you need to know? What do you need to learn to do build websites on an iPad? I'd love to help. If you want to support the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and 
support the channel, support more video production, support more reviews of apps, more other stuff like that by supporting me. Have an awesome day.